Albert Einstein's mass energy equivalence principle states that energy and mass are now interchangeable. Einstein proposed an equation, E equals mc squared, to link the quantities of energy and mass. The mass energy equivalence principle also obeys the laws of conservation of energy and mass. When using the mass energy equivalence principle, there are numerous units that you can use. If the mass that is to be converted into energy is in kilograms, then the energy that you will calculate using the equation will be in joules, as both kilograms and joules are our SI units. Sometimes the mass can be very small and be written in U, which is atomic mass units. One atomic mass unit is equivalent to 1.661 times 10 to the power of minus 27 kilograms. If the mass is available in atomic mass units, we can simply convert it into mega electron volts instead of joules by multiplying by 931.5. We'll go through the unit conversions in a moment. How much energy in joules and electron volts can be derived from a mass of 1.0 times 10 to the power of minus 10 kilograms? Since the mass is available in kilograms, we can substitute this number into our equation and using C as 3 times 10 to the power of 8 squared. This will yield a value of 9.0 times 10 to the power of 6 joules. If we're using the mass in kilograms, then the energy we calculate will be in joules. So this is joules. What about electron volts? Remember that one electron volt is equal to 1.602 times 10 to the power of minus 19 joules. So to convert energy from joules into electron volts, we will have to divide this number by the charge of an electron. So we'll do 9.0 times 10 to the power of 6 divided by 1.602 times 10 to the power of minus 19. And this gives us what 5.6 times 10 to the power of 25 electron volts. How much energy in mega electron volts can be derived from a mass of 1.008 atomic mass units? Mega electron volts is a million electron volts. Mega is equivalent to 1 million. When the mass is in atomic mass units, we can calculate the energy simply by converting the atomic mass units into a different unit for energy, that is mega electron volts per C squared. This conversion factor is from the data sheet. What this means is that for every one atomic mass unit, this is equivalent to 931.5 mega electron volts of energy per C squared. So this is our mass, and we'll multiply this by C squared, as this is an equation. By making this conversion, the per C squared and the C squared in the equation will cancel each other out. And this gives us a value of 939 mega electron volts. The mass energy equivalence equation can also be used to calculate the mass that's required to derive a certain amount of energy. For example, calculate the mass in atomic mass units that's required to derive 2.5 times 10 to the minus 19 joules of energy. We can rearrange this equation to make mass a subject, which is energy divided by C squared. When given energy in joules, we can calculate the mass in kilograms. So it's 2.5 times 10 to the minus 19 divided by 3 times 10 to the power of 8 squared. This yields a mass of approximately 2.8 times 10 to the power of minus 36 kilograms. So we'll need to divide this number in kilograms by the number of kilograms in one atomic mass unit to find out how many atomic mass units this number is equivalent to. So let's do that. So this is equal to 2.8 times 10 to the minus 36 divided by 1.661 times 10 to the power of minus 27. And this gives me 1.67 times 10 to the power of minus 9 atomic mass units.